Hi folks, I'm Josh and welcome to more custom corral building. Today's mission is to build an environment for the hunter slime who I think mostly lives in like a similar area to this so the concept that I've come up with is because this this place right here is uh, visible from one direction only um, I'm gonna build kind of round up here and uh, it would be easier if I did it in the mod mode right so build round here come up here put a what are, what are they called uh, the normal corral here like kind of stretch it out in there make it all mushroomy and cool kind of like the um, the background the, the place where you find the tabbies no the hunt oh my god I keep on saying that wrong the place where you find the hunters in uh, in the main game so let's try that I'm gonna see what decorations they've got over here because this is the place I mostly see the hunters coming out of so why not it's mostly mushrooms, as far as I can remember, but there's lots of grass, there's... what else is there, like, water? Or maybe I should put some water in. There's water around here. There we go. Still looking... Still looking for more tabbies and more hunters to put in my place. Oh, you know what? It would be awesome if there was, like, a watery bit here. So the roots went down into it. Let's do that. Uh, uh, cliff ramp. Okay, this is exactly what I need, yeah! to go from one area to the next. Uh, if I kind of leave that like that for the moment, I can then find, yeah, this sort of thing to create the connecting lump of earth. I've got to hide the kind of seam where it, where it all connects together so it doesn't look ugly. But I've also got to make it practical. That seems fine to me. I mean, this bit's kind of ugly, but we can get from one area to the next for the moment and that's all I really care about right now. All I want is just a place to kind of go below the water so that you don't fall into nothingness. That'll do. There's also water in this bit, so I don't know, it's quite a lot of water. It's, um, how do I not quite so much water. <laughs> Less water please. Less water please. And also put the water in the right place. Oh, I can't I can't see the arrows if I'm on top. That's bad. That is bad news. Okay, put it there. Does that fill up that area? It yeah almost. Does it poke out anywhere else? That's what I want to avoid. <laughs> Up here is like a, a springboard, so you run all the way over here. And jump in the water! Yay! And how do you get back out? Good question. Good question, Josh. Because I need to like wall this off so my hunter slimes don't just fall in the water. I guess I could keep it like that. What's the view like? Not great. It's not very interesting. It's rocks. <laughs> and that tree. And those trees. So it's not very interesting. So I'm probably going to wall this off somehow. I like it. Apart from this, this bit. Um, let's put another mountain there. Mountain Black Mouth. There. <laughs> this thing's huge. Constructions. Guideposts. There we go. I need a guidepost over here so I don't fall in. Because I can totally see me just absent mindedly. Just walk up this cliff, go, oh, cool. Well, I guess there's something. No, nope. no, there is oblivion. Oh, what did I do for over here? I put these, like. I can't remember what these are called. These weird bobbly rocks. Probably not bobbly rocks. Try and say that ten times fast. Probably not bobbly rocks. Well, that's what I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm just kind of find a place for it in the ground. Is that good enough? 
Maybe. Does it make sense when you're running around? Okay, I am happy with how I've designed this space. I can I can get back out again. I put these rocks here. They look kind of cool with the mossy stuff on top. And I've just kind of accidentally made... Oh, that's really cool! I didn't know it did that. I like the kind of stuff like that. Can I get in there? Oh, I can! Yay! That's teensy. I thought I was way bigger than that. But as long as I can fit through, hang out with my slimes in there. Uh, Ooh, and there's seaweed, so I need to start decorating this place. Uh, let's find the seaweed. Where is the seaweed? Decoration, decorative roots, not really very good. Decorative petals. I always like the petals, there's tons of them in the, the tabby area. So why not tons of them in here as well? Make them big. There we go, big giant spots. Oh no! Oh, pressing X to look at stuff. Gotta to remember to save stuff before I do that. Oh well. Water leaves, that's actually what I was what I was after. Let's put these kind of on top of the water there. Because there's roots and it would look weird if they weren't. Ooh, oh I can make it a dome. That's kinda of cool. Not very helpful. But I can make a dome. Weird. That's really weird. Let's delete that. We always have to have the random decorative rocks around the place. They're really kind of rubbish. Um, because they're so small and they would take ages to actually organize into any kind of pattern or interesting anything. But there are rocks on the floor in real life, so guess you win real life. Does that look good? That's not too bad. Yeah, okay. Let's keep that. Tree moss stump. Let's put one of those in there. Why not? Can't think of anything else. Put a tree in, in there. Dangerous tree! Uh, there's not really much room for this to... Why are there shroom caps? Where's the rest of the shroom? There's this thing, but there's no rest of the shroom. Where does... Where? What? Shroom cap. Shroom stump. Shroom giant? <gasps> big fat shroom! Let's make it less big. Yeah. I'm really happy with that. I want to move it, actually. I like it. I hope you do too. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this floating thingy. Do you think we should put a gordo down? I can't put the ra the tabbies there. Put phosphor down. No, I can't. Can't even do that because I popped it. Let's put honey down. Yay! Hello. Do you want some royal jelly? No, clearly not. Right. I think I've done with most of the decoration. I. I'm really happy with how it's gone, so let me walk you through it. You can come with me. <laughs> so you're like, oh my goodness, what's that up there? There's a giant tree and this thing and sparkles. Yeah, let's go there. First off, you meet the tabbies who are stacked. Stack the slimes right through here. You can boop them on your way. Boop. Boop. And then this guy smiles at you and you're like, just this way, sir or madam. And then these things warn you there is a cliff, so don't fall. But you see this, and then you're you're like, wow, what could possibly go up there? And then you're like, blam! Hunter slimes! This is where the hunter slimes live. And everything's pretty with flowers, and those ones float, but ignore it! And there's the honey gordo, but I mean, that's there's no hunter gordo, so... Not yet, anyway. And then there's a rock, just in case you can fall in the water. That guy's hungry. He won't eat raw jelly. But there's shrooms! And there's these things, whatever they are, the glowy flowers. And pogo floating pogos from that tree over there. I am happy with how this came out. This tree over here makes it look really good. And when I was building 
this thing over here. I was kind of worried that this giant tree would be wasted. But if we've got two corrals next to it, I think it looks good. So, if you want to boot the slimes, you can head over to this link here, where you can get shirts with amazing art on them. And if you've enjoyed the video, then give it a like. If you want to leave a suggestion for something I can build in the comments, please do, and I will take a look and chat with you there. Until next time, thanks for watching, and until then, mustache! This floaty stuff in there, that's awesome. Look, you can go through here and boop the slime on the other end. It's just big enough to, to fit through. <laughs>